DSP tree and render performance. Um, during a render, um, there's many ways that it's go going to actually involve BSP tree. So let's say, for example, a single ray uh, is casted in the scene. This ray may hit the surface, and that surface will will call the material uh, being installed on that uh, given triangle uh, that has been hit. Um, the uh, this material can spawn many other uh, what we call secondary ray uh, in the scene. For example. <coughs> Le, let's say this uh, particular triangle has a material that uses uh, glossy reflection, so it's going to spawn many rays in the scene to get a uh, a uh, frosty or glossy reflection. Every of these rays is going to involve B, uh, BSP tree. So, same thing for area lights, for example. Let's say you have a an area lights set uh, that has a three by three, which pretty much is equivalent to nine ray trace light in the scene. Every of these 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 virtual light will involve tracing shadow rays in the scene such uh, that it can con uh, contri contribute or con compute the occlusion uh, to generate the shadows. Same thing for final gathering. Final gathering requires to have ray tracing on and um, it will spawn many many rays in the scene in order to compute occlusions or actually indirect light contribution for the intersection point being computed. So let's say for example the final gathering accuracy is something like a thousand so you could uh, you could you can assume that a thousand final gathering rays will be casted uh, for let's say uh, every four pixels for example so that involves a lot of tracing back and forth in the BSP tree for that reason it's really important to, to tune the BSP tree correctly in order to get a maximum performance uh, uh, during these ray intense uh, ray tracing process under version uh, 3.0, 3.5 and 4.0 um, it is possible to get what we call BSP stats. Uh, that informs the user how good the actual BSP tree is and it gives statistical information about the actual BSP tree structure. So for version 3.0 you need to go under the rendering options um, under log method and set it to progress report. For version 3.5 and version 4.0 full debug or full verbals here is required. The actual BSP tree information is going to be displayed at the end of the render. So <clears throat> it is uh, it is important uh, that the BSP tree uh, uh, gets computed and actually the the mental restructure uh, test late along as it renders. So this information is 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 only available at the end of the render because all the work has been done. Uh, there's also another thing that uh, to keep in mind that the BSP tree will not affect the quality, the image quality. It will only affect the rendering time. So it ju it will simply just allow you to speed up or even slow down your render depending on the type of that of values you you will put in. So let's go over the BSP, BSP stats. Uh, well, in this case, I would like to go over what is contained in the actual BSP stats. So max depth tells the actual maximum depth level uh, a given sub-branch has, has reached. So let's say, for example, uh, you set the actual BSP uh, depth to 50 and the max depth turns out to be 40 then there's there's it pretty much reach 40 and stop there so even though you set it to let's say 60 uh, well the thing is is most scene will stop at let's say 40 uh, or 36 40 40 to 44 so it will never reach these value uh, the only problem with this is by setting the depth really really high you're going to end up uh, having maybe a problem when a large Scene is being rendered because it may it may go up to 60, which will involve a lot of memory and obviously it may actually run out of memory. So that's really careful not to set the max step or the actual BSP depth to a very high number uh, and say you know let the system figure it out. Actually, uh, the BSP tree means it's going it allows to 
use more memory and because it's it is allowed to use memory it is possible to consume so much memory that uh, a mental aid uh, is running out of memory and start to swap out a uh, chunk of memories to the disk and actually this will uh, produce a, a, a lower render performance uh, down the, uh, at the end uh, during the render. The max sleeve size informs the user uh, uh, the actual uh, uh, the biggest voxel, the biggest leaf node that uh, contains the maximum number. So it is possible that the actual average leaf size is probably 10, but there's one particular leaf node that contains 24. The idea is that uh, uh, what what is ideal is to the, that max leaf size and average leaf size are very close to each other. Uh, so uh, let's say if you do have a max leaf size of let's say 4,000 and you have an average leaf size of uh, 10, it means that there's one particular part of the tree that didn't get enough subdivision to be able to break it up into finer uh, details. So let's say 4,000 and you want to go let's say towards 10. To be able to split 4,000 to uh, to get let's say chunk of uh, 10, you may need to split it uh, multiple times. Let's say for example, if you sp you add a, a depth of one, 4,000 will become 2,000, two box of a 2,000, and then if you split it two, then it will give you two four boxes of of uh, 1,000. If you split it three, five uh, five uh, five hundred. Uh, 500 uh, triangles per voxel. If you had a depth, let's say, 4 to the existing depth, then you'll get to 250. And let's say you go up to, you know, even further, then obviously you may need to increase the depth by 10 to go towards the average leaf size. Um, so these values should be, you know, should be tuned such that they are as close as possible. Also, the average depth indicates the uh, the actual how far the actual depth went in, in some of the branches during uh, during the actual BSP tree. Again, if you do have a max depth that is really high and an average depth that is quite low, it is uh, it is actually uh, probably just indicating that there's one part of the sub branch that really went deep and when the others actually didn't go. If you do have an average depth and a max depth that do match, it simply means that it has it, it really pushed and split up the scene um, uh, quite evenly actually and and that means that it is possible that when these things happen the actual um, average leaf size and max leaf size would be pretty high so let's say for example we do split up we say maximum depth of one and we have let's say a thousand uh, a thousand triangle in the scene then what's going to happen is going to split the scene and then stop there so you'll have two boxes of 500 so the max step is going to be one and average step is going to be one and uh, uh, the maximum leaf size is going to be 500 and average leaf size is going to be 500 so this this is basically just demonstrating that the the scene may require to have a little bit more depth to go beyond and be a little bit more efficient. The leaf nodes are the number of voxel that contains triangles. So obviously, the higher this number is, more memory is required to be able to store this information. BSP size, obviously, this tells you how much memory being used. So if, let's say, for example, you are rendering and you get into a critical memory situation it is possible that BSP uh, BSP size here may may take a large chunk of memory so you may want to limit that that uh, memory uh, as low as possible having a BSP size or BSP memory limit of 64 is usually a good barrier or good limit because it's pretty rare that these this value will go uh, as deep uh, as uh, as large as this